Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my super cool way to convert an M4A audio file to a WAV file. M4A is an Apple audio file format and is not supported natively on Android devices. But if you're using apps like BandLab, your audio files will be downloaded as M4As. So if you're using an Android device or you just want to convert your M4As to WAV files, then here is how to do it. Tap on the Play Store app or if you're on an iPad or iPhone, tap on the Apple Store. Then in the search section, tap in Sure, Motive, And then when the Shore Plus Motive appears, tap on Install. Now wait for that to install and then tap on Open. Then just go through the setup messages. For this one, for instance, I'm clicking on while using this app for the audio record and access to photos is required as well. So I'm going to tap on allow. I'm going to just tap on done on this pop up screen that comes up next. Then it tries to push on you this video app, but I'm just going to click on dismiss. Now next you need to just tap on the record icon. And we're just recording anything. It doesn't matter what you record. And tap on the pause icon and the purpose of doing this is not to record anything in particular but the process of recording this and then saving it sets up and creates the folder that the motive recordings are stored in and that's going to be important to the next part of what we do so at the top of the screen, I'm going to tap on done. And I'm not going to change the name of this, but you could enter a new name on there. Um, and finally, I'm just going to tap on save in this pop up message. And now that's created the library and you see that file is now in the library. Now I'm going to tap on the back button on the device several times just to come back out of the Motive app and then a couple of times more to come out of the Play Store app. Now if you're downloading a song from BandLab, so I'm going to tap on BandLab, tap on the Projects folder, then just tap on one of my projects here and then we're next to the version on the right side of the screen or rather on the right side of the version name is three dots and I'm going to tap on that and then I'm going to tap on download in the pop-up menu and then on the pop-up message I'm going to tap on audio that's all you need to do these days they've changed things so I'm just going to tap on the back button for the device at the bottom several times to come back out of BandLab. Now I'm going to tap on the file app, then tap on internal storage, and then you want to find, scroll through and find your download folder, because that's where BandLab places your exported files. And you'll see here is my BandLab Quick Looper, which is the one I just downloaded from BandLab. So press on your M4A file until the menu appears at the bottom of the screen and a tick box appears next to the file. Then tap on copy at the bottom of the screen. Now tap on the back arrow for the device 
and that will take you back to the internal storage folders and now you want to tap on the music folder and you'll notice now in the music folder there is this motive recordings folder which was created when we recorded that first audio file so if you tap on the motive recordings folder you'll see the audio file that we recorded a few minutes ago is sitting in there now at the bottom of the screen on my device it says copy here so i'm going to tap on copy here but your voice your device might say paste instead it depends on the version of android that you're using and now my m4a song from bandlab is now sitting in the motive recordings folder so i'm going to tap on the back button for the device several times again to get out of the file folder app now i'm going to press on the motive app again and on here it's called motive audio once it's installed and at the bottom of the screen if you tap on where it says library you'll see that my m4a file is now here and it's the one highlighted in green but if it's not highlighted in green for some reason just tap on it and it will become highlighted in green and you'll see to the right of the name it says aac which is the terminology that's used for an m4a file now if you look near the bottom of the screen you'll see that the name of that file is written at the bottom here and to the right of it is a play button so you can play it if you want to listen to it but next to that to the right of the play button is three dots and if you press on the three dots you can then from the menu the bottom one on the menu it says convert to wave and if you click on convert to wave it'll do its business and now if you look at the top of the screen you'll see that my m4a file has now been converted to a wave file so i'm going to now press several times on the back button on the device to exit the motive app so now if i tap on the files folder app and tap on internal storage and scroll down and tap on my music folder and tap on the motive recordings folder you'll see that both the m4a version of my song file and the wave version are sitting in that directory so now i can play the wave version natively on an android device If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.